getting started. We are going to start with the Anti-Aging Make Sense Foundation in Dewy. And I'm just going to stipple that on to my entire face, and then we'll do some bronzing around it. Alright, next we have the green color correcting concealer. I'm going to use that some, for some of my redness and then use my other concealer to go on top of that. So just a couple little blemishes there. The rest looks good. So I'm going to let that set and then we'll do the light concealer. Comes in light, medium, and dark. Just using a fluffy brush to apply that under the eyes. Just going to dab a little bit of powder on that green concealer so it'll set and we can put the light concealer on top of it and then we'll be bronzing. For some of the bronzing and contour for the draft, I'm going to use the Make Sense Anti-Aging in Coffee. This is just super blendable and creamy, so it's going to blend out exactly how we want. And I'm just using the um, F04 from Sigma. So we'll start in our normal spots where we would contour. And you're going to have a lot more color than you normally would since this is our giraffe look. So buffing that out, just not as much as I normally would because I want to keep some of that coloring there. The foundations are so creamy and they do adjust to your skin color, so you want to do a pretty dark shade for this. Alright guys, next is our Shadow Sense in Garnet. We'll be using this for brows and some of our giraffe spots. So just using an angled brush, going to carve out my brows and add some depth and shape. Alright, now going in with eyes, it is the Shadow Sense in Sandstone Pearl Shimmer. This will be our base. Just using a fluffy brush to put that all over, all the way up to the brow bone. For my contour, I'm going to use Lava Shimmer. So Lava Shimmer Shadow Sense, this beautiful pearlescent orange. Using a fluffy brush, going into the crease with that. Going back to Garnet and adding contour in the outer crease, outer edge.
super thin angled brush, we're going to go and do our liner with that garnet as well. Okay, so for spots, they don't need to be very uniform, they need to be kind of different all over the place, like a normal draft pattern. So I'm mixing Mocha Java and Garnet, so again using our two shadow scents, and those are going to be some different shades that I'm going to create for the spots. Alright guys, so we're going to finish up with lips. I have two shades of lip scents I'm going to use here, Hazelnut and Beige Champagne. So just to create again some more dimension and always with lip scents, keeping our lips clean and dry, shaking the product. We're going to do Beige Champagne on the bottom, letting it dry in between each layer.
finishing it off with our matte lip topper. The matte gloss here is perfect for this more natural look. It's going to hydrate, moisturize all day, and of course, smudge proof lips. So this is the finished giraffe Halloween makeup look. It's super simple, easy, and fast, and I use just a couple of shadows, a couple of foundations to do our contour. I would love to know your feedback on this look, if it's something that you could definitely duplicate. I'd love to see what you guys create. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment below with any other makeup looks you would like to see for Halloween. That's what I'll be doing for the next few weeks. So we'll see you back here on the channel soon. Bye guys.